Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing this really quick and effortless bob, perfect for this season. I love me a good bob. This wig is from Ally Pearl, one of my favorite, favorite hair companies, and I am super excited to show you guys how I achieved this look. So here's the wig. It is a five by five closure wig, and it is 200% density, and it's 18 inches long. Originally, I was gonna do some sort of like layered type of look with some curls, like a real grown woman vibe. But you guys have not seen me in a bob in a while and I have just been fiending for one. So I decided to go ahead and do a bob. So it is super easy to do a bob on a five by five closure wig. It's one of my favorite type of wigs to do a bob on because it is so easy. All you have to do is worry about the middle. Most of the time your bob is a middle part anyway, so you don't really have to worry about the edges or the sideburns or anything like that. So here I'm just going to comb out this wig and I've already kind of made the part exactly where I want it to. I put the wig on my head, made the part, and then I defined the part on my mannequin head. So here I'm just going to pull the lace back because I'm gonna be spraying the even lace spray and this is in the black container, which I've been loving. This stuff is no joke, okay? <laughs> Y'all told me a long time ago, girl, you need to get the black one, you need to get the black one. I finally hopped on the black train and I am loving it. So here I am blow drying the spray so it gets a little tacky. You guys know the drill and then I'm just going to be placing the lace on there. I did go in and add a little bit more hairspray but I didn't show that on camera, but I did two layers just so you know. And here I'm just making sure it is nice and tacky, not completely dry because you won't be able to stick the lace on. But here I'm about to place the lace directly on top of it, exactly where I want the wig to fall. So I am pulling it a little bit a little bit more forward than my actual hairline because I don't want this on my hairline, okay? We do not wanna pull out edges in 2023, okay? So here I'm just taking the comb and I'm just pushing it into the lace. And as you can see, you can kinda of see my cap or you can see the cap because I don't do the ball cap method, but thankfully all you need to do to fix that is just go in and kinda of camouflage it with some makeup that is the same color as your skin tone and you're good to go. So here I'm cutting off the lace even though the wig wasn't completely adhered, I wanted to get rid of the lace as quickly as possible because I'm gonna be putting on the elastic band to let this sit and melt into my scalp, okay? So here I'm just putting on the elastic band that came in the package. As you can see, it says Alley Pearl on there. These things are so, so necessary when you are laying your wigs, necessary. So here I'm just going to go through and do like a rough straighten. Nothing crazy, I'm not gonna be making sure it's like bone straight. This is just to prep the hair to be cut into a bob because you don't want to cut the hair when it has a whole bunch of texture in it, a whole bunch of like, you know, ridges in it and whatnot because it might not come out even. So you want to make sure that the hair is at least straightened. Even though it's not bone straight, just make sure it's straight, okay? So like I said, I was originally going to do like a layer type of look, like a real natural look, literally to where it would look like it was growing out of my scalp. But I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bob. I will eventually do that type of look because I really want like a grown woman, just effortless, everyday, realistic, if you will, looking type of wig, but I really wanted to do a bob so I just could not stop myself. But here I am continuing straightening the hair and I did go in and add some bio silk off camera, but it's a necessary thing. Okay, if you want the hair to be nice and shiny and just luscious, definitely get you some bio silk, even for your natural hair. So here is what the hair looks like. I wasn't able to obviously go too crazy in the back because I can't see, but it was enough to be able to get this wig cut evenly. So I had my husband come in and help me, but I did initially cut a guide for him to start off with. So I just stood up as straight as possible with my head forward and I cut where I wanted the bob to be. And then he just went in and followed that all the way around. So that's all you have to do. If you don't have clippers, you guys just get a pair of clippers. Okay, like a real cheap, Conair makes really, really, really affordable pairs of clippers and you could just go in and cut it on a mannequin head. So first, if you are gonna cut it yourself, just make sure you do what I just did. So cut a guide and then just take it off, put it on a mannequin head and follow that guide all the way around. Put it back on your head to see if you need to adjust anything, if you need to cut off a little bit more. You always wanna cut less in the beginning and then you could easily cut off more because you guys know you cannot add hair once you cut it off so make sure you cut it longer than you want it to be so that you can go in and tailor it and fix it because once you start tailoring it and fixing it it could get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter without you even noticing and then your wig is too short and it's not exactly how you wanted it to be so definitely cut it a little bit longer i went ahead and cut it exactly the way i wanted it 
because it is on my head and he's cutting it. So it's not like I need to take it off right now. So hopefully that makes sense, but he's just going in and cutting it and he's gonna keep doing that until he gets all the way around. Nothing special, y'all know. Bobs are just bobs. You just cut them straight across and that's it. <laughs> so once he was done, I took off the elastic band and I just wanted to see where I was at, if I needed to cut a little bit more. And I thought it came out perfectly, exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'm just gonna go in and now straighten it again. And this time I'm gonna focus more on making it a bit straighter than it was originally. And you can go in and add any sort of product you want to make the hair a lot more sleek. I didn't have anything other than the bio silk, so that's what I used, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of a bump to the end so that they don't look super choppy or blunt. And then as you can see in the front, if you wanna leave it just like this with no baby hairs, you can definitely do that. But y'all know me, I got this cranium over here that I need to conceal, okay? So I went in and added two little swoops on the side, which you guys seen in the beginning, but it still looks really good without any baby hair, so you can definitely leave it just as is. But as y'all know, I'm extra, so I had to do the extra mile. So here's what it ended up looking like in the end. I did have a line on my forehead from my scarf, so don't mind that, but I absolutely love this wig, you guys. Definitely be sure to check out Ally Pearl. I will have all of the information and links down below for you to check it out. And I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one.